We don't make the rules, but if we did, these are the things we'd get rid of. Done with this sort of thing. Careful now. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things that should be banned. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're focusing on things that are inconsiderate or dangerous that we think should be made illegal. Just for the record, this list is all in good fun and is not meant to cause offense. Yeah. Number 10. Reclining airplane seats without asking. Um, sir, could you please put your seat in the fully upright position, please? For some people, just getting on an airplane is stressful. Never mind having to worry about someone leaning their airplane seat back and invading your personal space. While it's nice to get in a relaxed position so you can enjoy your flight, you should be considerate of others. There have been some ugly confrontations as a result of passengers leaning their seats back too far, and in some reported cases, fights aboard airplanes. The latest rage issue for airline travelers is how far you recline your seat. When that happens, they usually have to stop the plane and boot the unruly passengers. But sadly, if anybody does go to jail in this scenario, it's cause they disrupted a flight, not cause they reclined without permission. Where? Number nine, taking up extra seats on the subway. In big cities, subways are crowded and frequent subway riders know there are rules. Let people off before you get on and for the love of God, take up as little space as humanly possible. Well, some jerks didn't get that memo. In fact, some jerks use a technique called manspreading. A sleazy type of guy that sits there like this on the subway. Sure, it may get some comedic mileage on social media, but if a pregnant lady or old person is forced to stand because of it, it is not a laughing matter. Manspreading became such a problem in New York City that the Metropolitan Transportation Authority started a campaign discouraging it. In fact, the MTA considers manspreading a violation of their orderly conduct rules. And in 2015, two men were arrested for it. Justice! The NYPD has issued more than 1,400 summonses for manspreading this year. Number eight, babies in movie theaters and other public spaces. Oh man, who brings a baby to a movie? Parents of newborns may see their child as a little blessing but in a packed public space, they're the only ones that do. Wah! Wah! You like that, huh? You like that? This is especially true in places where others are trying to enjoy themselves. Like when you're going to see that new blockbuster or eating out at a restaurant, or when you're trying to relax or when you're on an airplane. I specifically asked not to be seated next to a baby. <laughs> in these cases, these babies are not experiencing any fun they don't know how to party, and they're flat out annoying to anyone who wasn't directly involved in their conception. All we're asking parents is maybe adjust the date night budget a little to include a sitter. Number seven, gum chewing. Anyone? With some notable exceptions, most people don't ingest gum when they're done chewing it. So when the flavor or sheer joy runs dry, the mission becomes finding a way to dispose of it. Unfortunately, with stakes this high, too many people find the best solution is to stick it someplace that isn't a garbage can. Did you just stick your gum under my coffee table? Since 1992, Singapore has banned the sale and importing of chewing gum because of problems with troublemakers placing gum on railways, which blocked door sensors. Though the country never banned the act of chewing gum altogether. Normally, Singapore's strict take on lawmaking isn't a lead the world follows, but maybe they're onto something this time, especially when it comes to those loud gum chewers. Delicious. This is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, frivolous lawsuits. Sue me for what? A lot of lawsuits sound ridiculous, but are perfectly reasonable when you put them into the proper context. Take the infamous 1994 McDonald's lawsuit, for example. When a 79-year-old woman spilled hot coffee on her lap and won $2.86 million as a result. No, what we're talking about here are the completely indefensible lawsuits that go further than they have any right to. I'll sue you! This includes everything from burglars suing a store after injuring themselves on the premises to customers suing fast food companies for making them fat. Sure, the most egregious cases are usually thrown out, but some people are so shameless, they're willing to try anything. If you call me ma'am one more time, I'll sue you. And with today's laws, it's possible. Number five, taking a full cart to the express checkout lane. No, 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 rules is rules. We've all been there. You got the basics. 
eggs, bread, milk, and a family-sized box of Lucky Charms. And you want to check out quickly. Obviously, you qualify for the express lane, but there's a problem. The person ahead of you has stocked up on nine lifetimes worth of cat food and couldn't be bothered to go to the appropriate lane. And they're being checked out anyway. If they have 11, ban them or scan them, your call. Not only does this reward bad behavior, it's also an indictment on the educational system. It's basic math and even simpler reading. If the express lane limits you to 12 items or less, don't show up with 13 items or more, even if one of them is a calculator. Where did you learn to count? Number four, playing your music without headphones. Some people are so proud of their music collection, they want to share it with the world. Whether it's through their MP3 player or by blasting their tunes through their car stereo. While it is nice to share, usually, people are not always in the mood to hear someone else's music, especially when they're busy going about their day. It's so flat, I can't even, I don't even know, you don't even look good while you're singing. Whether you're at a stoplight, studying at the library, or trying to pay attention to the sermon, it can be annoying to hear someone else's music, especially when it's not a genre everyone likes. So maybe keep your dope beats to yourself in the future. Number three internet pop-ups. What the? What's all that crap? Outside of data caps, where an ISP can limit a customer's usage at a given time, pop-up ads could be the most annoying problem a user can face when surfing the web. Well, all right, free money. Usually promoting something you're not even remotely interested in. These ads can throw you off the course of your web surfing, force you to remember where you last were, and overwhelm you by popping up one after another on the page. Sure, there are steps you can take to get rid of these kinds of ads, but banning them all outright by law would make life so much simpler. Don't open it, homie. It's a virus. Too late. I... <laughs> Number two, cutting in line. Oh my gosh, no, you, you can't cut the line. Sorry. Death, taxes, and lines. They're all inevitable. We have to wait in lines at the bank, movie theaters, theme parks, to make a complaint, or to use the john. Nevertheless, some people think they're above the rules and are entitled to slip in line when no one's looking, at the expense of everyone who's patiently waited their turn. Or there are people in line who let their friends cut, thinking nothing of the people behind them. Of course, we're willing to make exceptions in special cases, like we'll let pregnant women or the disabled go ahead. But for everyone else, get to the back of the line. Hey, 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 whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Hey, Copernicus, why don't you navigate yourself to the back of the line with your feet and stand there with your shirt? Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable, or in this case, dishonorable mentions. <laughs> one good girl is worth a thousand bitches. Number one, internet trolls. <laughs> Most people go online for entertainment or research, but trolls rarely improve the experience. It's toxic. Even if you know it's garbage, it can really hurt you. Some are annoying in an innocent, first or you use the wrong there kind of way, but others make bigoted comments based on racism, misogyny, or some other form of prejudice under the guise of anonymity. They've even been known to engage in destructive pranks like doxing, or the act of releasing someone's personal information. For what it's worth, sites like Twitter have taken steps to discourage trolling, like when they banned Milo Yiannopoulos after his follows harassed Leslie Jones. And in 2014, England and Wales saw the rollout of new laws that mean internet trolls could see actual jail time. This idea that celebrities are these fragile wallflowers? Give me a break. Now if only we could get people to stop saying that Watch Mojo is running out of ideas. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.